a robber comes into your house, mm. is a woman gonna go down? No, she's no, gonna, she's she's gonna, gonna wake, wake you up. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, the man up in the house. The man sleeping, yeah, <laughs> having a nice uh, deep sleep. <laughs> wakes Dream, you up, dreaming about other women, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then tells you to go down. You heard it. You go down. <laughs> yeah. Are you women sending us men down so we die so you can jump onto your next man? Yeah, to your side That's man. That's what it is. Yeah. Welcome back, welcome back to Fire in the Room for another uh, episode of Reactions. It's your host, The Bearded Mogul, and we got Jimmy. Jimmy's in the house. Yes, Again, yes. we're going to react to some videos. Mr. Tate in the building, in the house. Hopefully, he'll come on our podcast one day on our channel. Yes, we're know. reaching out to you, Mr. Are, Tate. Yeah, come on, mate. We need you. <laughs> we need you here. Yeah, yeah, we need you here. Fire in the Room, man. Uh, set a light to uh, this podcast. Come on, Mr. <laughs> Tate. Uh, but again, yeah, uh, we're reacting to uh, another uh, video of his. Uh, I think this one's called Toxic Toxic Masculinity. Masculinity, I can't even say it. <laughs> masculinity. Masculinity. So my toxic masculinity <laughs> is, is a lie. lie. Yes. So, so one of our viewers uh, commented to do a reaction on this video. So here we are. We're doing this for you guys. Uh, so shall we go, have, shall go, we go for, for it? it? Let's, Let's see what up. you're saying. So I'll tell you this. So Andrew, can you tell us about toxic masculinity and what it is in your eyes? Does it exist? Is it a farce? Because you're considered the king of toxic masculinity. Yeah, I, I've, got that, I've got that title. <laughs> yeah. Toxic masculinity is a term that was invented by women nobody wants to fuck to describe <laughs> the men that the women do want to fuck. It's Damn, challenging. son, that, where'd you find that's this? That's all it is. That's all it is. No, but on, on a real level, right, this whole idea of being toxic masculine is complete garbage. And the reason it's garbage is because it's a first world problem first. Mm -hmm. Because when you put males and females in survival situations, or the closer they are to a survival situation, the quicker they're going to revert to their gender roles. If you put a whole bunch of men and a whole bunch of women, you strand them on a desert island, the men would start having to build things and fight off the animals, and the women would start mm. farming and whatever the women would do, right? That's exactly. true. Yeah? yeah. So mm -hmm. when, 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 when shit hits the fan, everyone, go, everyone reverts to their natural gender roles. Mm -hmm. So if you live in a country like Romania or Russia or a country that's poor, the closer it is to survival, the lower the economic prosperity of the country, the closer people are to their natural gender role. So Very Russian true. men are masculine, Russian females are feminine. Mm -hmm. But in America, it's the richest country in the world. It's a first world problem. All the women get to be stupid and the men get to be pussies <laughs> because it's just a first world problem. This whole idea of being toxically masculine is absolutely garbage. Nobody's toxically, listen, you're not gonna call me toxically masculine if someone breaks in the house and I start spraying. No one's gonna start calling me toxically masculine. No, there was no one called toxically masculine when they were fucking staying on the Titanic to die. Right? Mm -hmm. The whole thing is garbage. And it's just by women who are bitter and jealous trying to insult and demonize men for being natural to their instinct. Right. There's Pause it there. Yeah. He's got a point. He's absolutely. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Got a few points there. So uh, basically, uh, when, uh, again, another point is uh, when you come to war, yeah. Yeah, uh, is a woman going to go out and fight? No, she's not. She's going to stay at home. She's going to stay. Yeah. Uh, if a robber, well, they say there's yeah. women in the army, but. Yeah. Uh, one of the uh, yeah, yeah yeah but one of the points is uh, if you're sleeping and then uh, a robber comes into your house mm. is a woman gonna go down no she's no, gonna, she's, she's she's gonna wake, wake you up uh, wait, wait the man up in the house the going man down. sleeping <laughs> yeah. having a nice uh, deep sleep <laughs> Dream, wakes you up dreaming about other women yeah yeah <laughs> uh, then tells you to go down you heard it you go down <laughs> yeah uh, equal rights you go down exactly you want equal <laughs> rights eh? so uh, you pay your equal we're scared part. too you know <laughs> we got fear as well you know we, we yeah. bulletproof uh, exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bullet or knife proof, you know? Yeah. So why did it send us? Are you women sending us men down so we die so you can jump onto your next man? Yeah, to your side That's man. That's what it is. He's got it. Mm, it's it's like that, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to die. But then yeah. a good point he made, I yeah. like this point, is about um, the economic situation of a country. Yeah. So in certain countries that like I think you mentioned Romania or somewhere, the men are more masculine because the economy is not that good. So they go on uh, to their natural roles. Yeah. So yeah, if the economy yeah, yeah. is not that good, you're gonna be in like it's like the caveman mentality. Mm -hmm, you're mm -hmm. gonna go and do your natural roles. The same in back in Pakistan, Bangladesh, yeah, India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the women are, are doing their roles, and the men mm -hmm. are more masculine. Oh yeah. But that's starting to change. If you start seeing the economy that's uh, mm -hmm. going up, so like India's economy is going up. Yeah. Uh, the Chinese, etc. You know uh, th that role is starting to shift. Mm. And if you look at America, United Kingdom, Europe, it's totally different. Yeah. But if yeah. it, if it, like you said, if it, the shit hits the fan, if you put them on a desert island, mm. 
you know, the women will start sewing and start doing all this and picking fruit. Why are you doing that? Go and get the wood. Yeah, and wood. Uh, oh, my nails I will break. I can't <laughs> lift it. I can't lift it. You can't <laughs> lift it because you biologically you're different. Yeah, of course. This is where we are different. You're biologically yeah. different. Mm-hmm. So we will do that role. We're made for that role. You're made for that role. Yeah. But modern civilization has put us into one basket. Mm-hmm. And this is uh, what the feminists can never ever explain. They can never come to that. They were always like, um and ah on this uh, this point, isn't it? And they will only talk about other points that regarding the office work and all this stuff. Mm. That we need equal rights and equal pay. Man, go and do real jobs. Then we'll realize. Then uh, come back and speak about uh, feminism. How that's right. Yeah. Or wrong, isn't it? So they talk about equal pay, equal rights. Yeah. They never talk about the disproportionate uh, men to woman ratio mm-hmm. in bricklayers. Yeah, I know. Never do. Why yeah. don't we have rights for women in bricklayers? We need more bricklayers. Yeah. Can we get more women in, please? Oh, what the heck? No, they won't even come out. No. Yeah. Uh, or uh, maybe rubbish men or women. <sighs> I've never ever seen a rubbish woman. There you what, go. Would they do the dirtiest work? No. No, no they'll never do that. But they never, they never chant about this. They never mm-hmm. protest about those yeah. kind of jobs. What they're protesting is about is a nice little... A cushy job in the office yeah, yeah, yeah. With the AC on mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's where we need the rights Yeah Just yeah. you're picking and choosing If you want yeah. to do it Do it properly Yeah Right Yeah I, I, don't, I don't want to rant too much No right? no continue I don't want to rant Okay let's go Let's go Let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> The world we live in just die now Today Tries very very hard to refuse a man his natural instincts as a man. Yeah. And this is done on purpose. This is not done on accident. There's no war on men on accident. Men are the ones who start revolutions. If you mm. look at any revolution in history, it was the men who were on yeah. the street and started that revolution. If you yeah. want to control a populace, the first thing you do is control the men. When you mm-hmm. went, when the Romans went and conquered Sparta, they kill all the men, all the young boys, all mm. the fighting age males. When you're left with nothing but females, you can conquer and control a society. We're living in a world. Coming on that point, going mm. back into his- history, what did the Pharaoh do? He killed all the baby boys, didn't he? he? Killed all the baby boys, so no one can raise up to challenge him. Mm. Why didn't he go and kill all the baby uh, baby girls? Because mm. huh? a woman's not going to challenge. Yeah, a woman's not going to challenge. Um, a woman. That's why we say a woman cannot be a leader. You know, lead the country because as soon as she sees brush, yeah, then she start panicking. Yeah, or something. Uh, they panic too quick. Mm. Yeah. It's all emotional based. All, yeah, they, like you said, they're all emotional based. So right? their decisions will be emotional, yeah. whereas our decisions are more rational. Yeah. Right. Mm. World right now, where there's supposedly some virus, and you have to stay in your house <laughs> and put a mask on, and everyone's come. We're not gonna. We're we not can't gonna mention it. Uh, we won't do it. We're Just not mention that. YouTube. We're not, we never said anything. YouTube. We ain't mentioned nothing. <laughs> Flying like cowards and the reason is is because they've destroyed the masculine spirit in men mm. if you would have told men a hundred years ago we're gonna take your business away we're gonna mm. bankrupt you and mm. they're gonna lock you in your house every single man would have stood up and said what who yeah. are you what you didn't yeah. listen to us That's the people it. who are in charge of the world want to control mm. the population and the easiest way to do that is to remove the warriors from the populace mm. that's all it's about so when men try and so that's why they are trying to feminize all men yeah, that's why this agenda's out there, guys. Why is it happening so fast? Feminize men, make them females. You can become a female. It's all right. You got the right pride. Bam, 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 bam. Wake up, wake up, man. So that destroyed, like I said, yeah. destroy the men. You destroy mm-hmm. society. The guys at the top, they're laughing at us. Mm-hmm. They're the the men who will control everything. Yeah. Now there's no man, there's no warrior, there's no Salahuddin, there's no uh, Alexander the Great to stand up and mm-hmm. conquer the lands. Of course, man. Like we said, and we don't agree uh, <coughs> to all of his opinions, but these are the points that he <clears throat> makes that, that hit the nail on the head. Yeah. So we need to look. Think rationally again in it and uh, realize you know, what is actually happening in our world, mm. around us, in our society, even in our families, on our streets. You can see the world is evolving very, very fast in it. And uh, it's going at a pace that we can't even keep up. It's like mm. next day, a, a new rule will come out and we can't say uh, things uh, to these guys and mm. we can't say things to these guys. And then uh, it's, it's it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, You can't be, so like this video, you can't be masculine now. Mm, can't be. You can't. They, won't, they won't allow it. They yeah. won't allow it. They want you to be a pussy. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's not, they weren't all meant to be pussies. They weren't all, everyone to be. So uh, once you become a pussy, innit, you, you obey. That's yeah. what they want you to do. And they want us to obey the women. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe the elite got some uh, higher up women, innit? <laughs> no, the, the, the elite are up there, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we're cattle. Yeah. We're, we're sheep, we're nothing. So they'll make us fight each other and have yeah, race yeah, wars yeah. and religious wars and all this separate divide and conquer, as they say. Uh, but they're enjoying their lives up there, mm. doing what I'm just laughing and watching the chess, playing that chess of game. Of course, of yeah. course. Act in a masculine way, they're toxically masculine. They mm. demonize us. And then the another way they do is they try and shame us. Shame mm. is another tactic. Oh, yeah. Andrew, when are you going to grow up and stop fucking all that hot pussy? <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> who hurt you? Yeah, who like, hurt you? Who yeah. hurt your feelings? I'm enjoying my life, right? I'm enjoying my life. <laughs> like, and, and, and I enjoy the company. I'm not saying I can't be loyal if I have a girlfriend, of course. But also, if I'm single and I don't want to be loyal, I'm a full-grown man. I can make my own choices, right? Yep. Yep. Why yep. should I be demonized or shamed for that? But they don't want that. They want men. We are the backbone of every economy. Facts. They want us to be worker ants. Facts. They want us to be semi-depressed with no fighting spirit to resist against the tyr tyr tyranny. They want us paying taxes as tax slaves mm -hmm. in a sexless marriage mm -hmm. with kids who don't respect us. Mm -hmm. No one talks about male depression. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares that the Facts. men are miserable. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. Facts. As long as we pay our taxes and we don't divorce her because we're scared of losing the house. Mm -hmm. And we continue mm -hmm. to raise those kids and sit there <laughs> while she refuses to give you a blowjob more than once a year. That's all the government wants to do. Church. That's all Hello, want from us. That's Hallelujah. That's what wake up the people. Hello, man. People, wake up. You want to go, ah. He's spoken the truth. He's spoken the truth. <laughs> you know, for the young generation, you can wake him up. Uh, yeah, of course, man. You need someone like this, man. Uh, bring him into the mosque. And <laughs> He's got to stop the cursing and all the bad words. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. We can bring him to the mosque, maybe. Man, <laughs> Mr. Tate, if you're listening to this, I know you're looking into Islam. Once you become a Muslim, I, mean, I want you to stand on that mimbar and preach to these young lads. <laughs> You, trust me, people will listen. People so, will listen to you, man. But people. there's just some filters that you gotta have, like yeah, yeah, yeah. some views you gotta change a little bit. But um, yeah. other than that, he's all good to go. Man, this, how many facts did he just drop there in uh, so 20 many. seconds? He just went boom, boom, boom. I know. A point after point after point. He's just like, yeah. How can you argue that? You can't, you can't. Because that's exactly what's happening. Mm. You know, uh, sexist marriage and. Kids that are disobedient to their parents is all happening, mm. and this this is what they want. It's a massive game, and yeah. they're winning the game right now. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. But we're letting them win. Mm. You know, it's just this narrative. There's someone who is speaking. Uh, I'll listen to a video. It's quite interesting, and he was going. I think it was about. Uh, yeah, it was about that uh, late uh, Doctor Amar Oh, right. right, okay. So he's passed away. Mm -hmm. um, and basically he was saying, he was a close friend of his, and he goes, the guy used to do uh, like Islamic shows. Yeah. Right. And uh, he didn't get much views on that, much mm. attention. Then he ch uh, changed to like the game shows in Ramadan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, he got so many views and so many uh, attention to that. Mm -hmm. He goes, at the end of the day, you guys control the narrative. Yeah. If you guys demand to watch the game show and you like that more, that's what's going to happen. And that's yeah. what the, the guys are going to push because you're asking for it. Yeah. Uh, if you don't want the religious stuff, they're not gonna do put the park that yeah. to the side. So slowly, slowly, so that's gonna us, diminish. Yeah, it's yeah. us, man. We control it. So yeah. if you if you want the bad stuff, the naked women, the the, the all the crap stuff in society, they're mm -hmm. gonna push it on you even yeah. more. Of course, because they look at the figures, they look at the stats. Now, how many people, uh, you know, watch porn? Yeah, mm. that's another one. They look at the uh, the statistics in it on a daily basis. That how many people went onto this porn site, you know, like uh, or the major porn sites, yeah. And then they look that majority of the men, in, including women as well, in it are watching these sites. So they're gonna push that agenda. All right, forget about the porn sites. It's very, uh, some uh, people uh, it'd be hard for them to uh, access, in it. But now these elite are thinking now. What's another way to sell uh, porn through music? Mm. Yeah, uh, let's make the uh, these uh, celebrities through film, music, and everything. And how is that going to influence uh, the people of women? It look at it. You can see in the society today, we're dressing like them, we're acting like them, and we talk like them as well. Mm. And you think that you cannot get fame without doing this, without twerking, without showing your assets and all sorts. Nice, no, like, like, come on, people, wake up. Especially in the Muslim society, and we're we're. 
Sometimes I look at it, I look at the Muslim sides and the Asian women, especially, you know, they are worse than the whites. Honestly, they are worse than the yeah, whites. It's always it's worse like, when you're trying to copy and you yeah, can't yeah, do it properly. Yeah. And you, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's always worse. It's like it's like uh, the opposite now. The whites are coming back to the traditional way, you know, and the, yeah, the Asians are going to, in, in their way, there are more the Asian is, women in the clubs. I'm not going to say the Asian, I'm yeah, just yeah. going to just say the, the Muslim women, yeah, because there's Asians and Arabs and all that yeah, that do yeah, it, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they are trying harder to do it, yeah. But they can't do it, yeah. As good as the white women, it's just getting so fitting, it, in, isn't it's it? It's natural for the yeah, white yeah, women. Yeah. They can do it, right? They can pull it off. You can't, so don't do it. Stop just, it. Just stop it. Stick man. to what you you know. Yeah. Don't don't be like them. You don't need to be like them again. And you, know, you think that you're gonna be like them. you're gonna fit into their cycle. All right, probably for uh, uh, was it a couple of hours, isn't it? Because yeah, they, they, they won't accept you. Yeah, anyway. because they're drunk. That's the reality. But when they come back to reality, man, they're gonna push you away. That's how we feel. You're falling into depression. Oh, yesterday you love me, but today you mm-hmm. hate me. Inside they hate yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Of course, man. They hate you. That's it, full stop. They will never let you into that circle. And never. even if they do, you're the one who's going to get picked on. Mm-hmm. Yeah? As you can see in these movies, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. Man, you never wake up to you, man. The masculine, masculine or toxic masculinity was coined. It was another weapon. A weapon against your natural instinct as a man to rebel. That's what it's all about. Bro, don't come on, bro. <laughs> That's it. So, you should go to a university, right? Let's pause that. You should go to a university, give a lecture like that, yeah, yeah. give him a degree. <laughs> Again, we're not gonna praise him. We're just messing around, but yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, he, he's hitting. The thing is, there's so much you can take from what he's saying, mm. right? We're not taking him as a scholar or something. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. He's hitting points. When someone speaks the truth, it doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. It could be a Muslim or non-Muslim. Take mm-hmm. them points. Yeah, take course. the good and leave the bad. That's it. And we're taking the points that he's saying. Mm-hmm. And there's so much that you can talk and so much relevance in, in that yeah, yeah. today's society. That's why everyone, a majority of the people hate Andrew Tate. Uh, especially yeah. the LGBT community and um, uh, the feminists, and also they try to cancel him. They try to cancel him, like they try to cancel David Chappelle. Uh, Find you know, the they, rooms with they, it. They try to can- yeah, yeah. They try to cancel Ricky Gervais yeah. uh, and also. I, I think should we do a, a reaction on Ricky Gervais when he talks about women? Yeah, yeah, the, maybe. the modern women. Yeah, uh, the it. ones with the beards and the big ding 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 dongs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's crazy society that we're living now nowadays, man. So, uh, but <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> we got so many things that we can talk about this, yeah. Uh, without, but we don't want to offend anyone, yeah. These are the. I points don't care. I'll yeah. offend you. I don't care, mate. Mm. Oh, 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 I'm with him now. <laughs> yeah, I'm used, used I know. <laughs> that's the thing, though. The thing is, everyone I'm get, to be polite. The thing is, you know, people, people <laughs> are getting offended by anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't care, right? You get offended, yeah. bro. You gotta use your logic of offense, right? <laughs> if I go up to a Christian and start cussing Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's wrong. Mm. I shouldn't be offending. We gotta live with each other. Mm. But if you're offended because uh, I'm wearing a black hat, yeah, yeah, that's not my problem. I know, right? Yeah. So this is where you gotta have logic because mm. obviously, like I said, there's a lot of controversy around uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. movie, The Lady in Heaven, mm-hmm. um, and that's offensive to mm-hmm. the majority of the Sunni Muslims. Yeah. So that's offense. You're just taking a Mickey, basically. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, but little things, and you get offended over that. No, don't really care about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll leave it at that. Uh, thank you for the uh, suggestion. Um, uh, it was a great uh, video to react to, wasn't it? Mm. And but just keep leaving your comments and uh, let us know which video to, uh, sh- we should react to next. But thank you for watching. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting, keep subscribing. We're growing fast, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you very much thank for you. tuning in. And, uh, take care. Peace out. Yeah.